meet the authors. We're here at the Florida Writers Conference in Orlando interviewing some of the 500 authors who've come in to, with their books and their manuscripts and promoting their work, and it's just amazing. Any of you who are interested in being a writer or if you have a book out, Florida Writers Conference is the way to be. It's held every October. And this particular one, is, a particular author is a doctor. Tell me your name, Dr. Amarili Sanchez Wolliver. Amarili Sanchez Wolliver. Nice to meet you. Thank Great you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Much a gusto con a silo. Encantada. Uh, and you're a physician, you have a stethoscope. Mm -hmm. This looks very much like my stethoscope. Mine is a little green and hers are black. But we were just talking right before the, uh, we started the filming about uh, medical, medical school stuff. So Two physicians here. I had no idea. They yeah. wonderful. wonderful. It is. That way, particularly because your book is about medicine. Tell us about the title of this book. Sure. So the book is titled Recapturing Joy in Medicine. And it's really a book... Um, of possibilities. Uh, it's a, as you know, as an emergency physician, I'm a family physician. Yeah. So it's a very tough time in medicine in 2018. Physician burnout is at, a, at an all-time high, and in fact, physician suicide three to four hundred a year, uh, which is really um, it's like most twice, don't twice even know. the average of the normal population. Exactly. And so, having experienced the beginning, I was starting to burn out um, about seven years into my career. My husband uh, was called to seminary. I always say his call to ministry saved my career okay, because I, I stepped off the treadmill of medicine full time for the first time, and uh, it really changed my life. It it changed your life when your husband was called to seminary. In what way? How did that affect you? Well, what happened is I was um, right as we were having to leave a practice I actually loved, but where I was beginning to feel burned out. Um, we had to move to a different state. We moved to Wisconsin for three years. And, and he went to seminary school in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, exactly. And were you practicing here before then? I was practicing full time. I've yeah. been practicing first in the in the military for three years, and then in a wonderful outpatient practice as a family physician. And so again, I started burning out. And so as we moved, I found out I was pregnant with my third child, who's my daughter. She's now thirteen. And so I decided um, it was going to be crazy to be in a new place and just do it all while pregnant and working full time, and I decided to step back. And so I took a, a sabbatical from medicine for a time, and in that time, honestly, what I usually say, uh, it may sound dramatic, but I almost felt like I was rehumanized. Oh, you know, wonderful. You know how grueling medical training is? It, oh, absolutely. You work 30, you know, like uh, what, 18 hour shifts, and you get a little sleep, and you come back and work again, it can be really awful. And on top of that, now we have all the regulatory burdens, and, Practicing medicine now with all the you know, the medical electronic records and all the forms and all the insurance you companies. Get it. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you get it. And so what I found in this book, uh, Recapturing Joy, so it's really not about the problems. What I'm giving uh, my colleagues is solutions. I'm giving them strategies. I'm giving them hope. I'm talking about my work at the national level in organized medicine and at the state level, uh, which has been for years. And so uh, because of what I see happening in all these settings, I actually have hope, and yeah. so I want physicians to, you know, step back from their lives as a full time or, you know, just their practice of medicine and step back and look at themselves as human beings and ensure they have what they need uh, first as they try to care for others. It's so true. You have to think back. Why did I become a doctor? I didn't become a doctor to work nonstop and and devote my life to people. I want to find the joy in helping people and helping myself at the same time. Exactly. And so my premise, uh, which was also the premise of my first book, um, is that we cannot give what we don't have. And, you know, medicine will continually, um, you know, expect self-sacrifice from us, which is, you know, uh, certainly sometimes necessary, but we cannot uh, sacrifice everything, um, you know, including ourselves, including our families, including our marriages, uh, our children. Well, that happens so often. You know, so you have to be careful. People, they become workaholics, doctors can work. So your book is focused towards physicians. Right. And it's... Right. It's really for my colleagues. And so, you know, I've begun to, to receive some endorsements from various um, physicians who are working at the national level and at the state level, and even uh, some folks, which is really uh, a blessing from my residency program, um, who have already read the book, and uh, it looks like it... it accomplishes exactly what I was hoping it would accomplish. It gives people hope. It gives them sort of a roadmap for ways that they can make changes that are small, yeah. it, both in their practice and in their personal lives, to be more uh, to be more healthy, but also to be more effective, to be better leaders. I mean, I go into all that. Wow, that's a really, really good subject. It's so useful. 
people who really need this kind of help. Right. And you just mentioned it, uh, it's your third book. Uh, yeah, so I've published three, and so this will be my fourth. Oh, your fourth book. Right. Okay. Yeah. And tell us about some of your other work. Sure. So my first one uh, really came out of that time. Uh, I feel like it got written in my mind and heart while we were in seminary, having oh. left my practice, and it's called Walking with Jesus in Healthcare. And so oh. it's a faith-based book uh, that grew out of my desire to help my colleagues stay close to God and their calling and their purpose while caring for others. And so in some ways, I see that book as a foundation to what then has become Recapturing Joy in Medicine, which is not a faith-based book. It really is for anyone, um, but it certainly uh, touches on you know the meaning of what we do, the purpose of why are we here, and so um, it's very applicable to really all physicians Jesus and really healthcare a, professionals. Jesus was a healer himself. So exactly. That, that sense of, Exactly, and, and being so though, even being who he was, he would step out and he would leave the crowds and he would go take care of himself and pray and, you know, uh, be quiet, which we, uh, if we're not intentional in doing those things, they don't happen, especially for us in medicine. It's too easy so. to get caught up in the treadmill of life with right. a physician or somebody else. Very nice. Exactly. Physician, yeah. heal thyself. Exactly, exactly. So I actually have a poem that... That speaks of that. I have a poem where I take all the acronyms, you know, you know, like MACRA and MEPS and all these things, and I, I, I use them to sort of rewrite them, to redefine all these things that have uh, come to begin to define us. Yeah. You know, now they call us providers when we know we're much more. Yeah. We're not providers of a product. We are human beings caring for human beings. And so I'm bringing all that back because to me, as I have found greater meaning and purpose uh, and an ability to not burn out, uh, has required me to step back and just kind of look at the bigger picture. Why am I here? Why am I even a doctor? And how will I serve people? Absolutely. I'm in a stage in my life now where I'm reti semi-retired, and it's, it's such a joy to be able to go to work and and, and really effuse, uh, and enjoy helping the other people, and you still have a lot of other time to, to do the other things I love and and isn't it lovely? So I actually became a physician coach a few years ago. I went through coaching myself. Oh, yeah. And so out of that, I chose to become a coach so that I could help my colleagues do that, precisely that. And so I don't coach a lot of people. In fact, I don't want to, you know, coach a ton of people. I uh, really just like to focus on one person, you know, and, and help them do better. And, uh, and when we do find those mentors, I mean, we really do need to seek it out. And studies show that for physicians in particular, they want a peer-to-peer -peer support. And yeah, so you um, need that. Feel yeah, that, feel that important. it makes a big difference to speak to somebody who has gone through what you're going through. Um, so your book, um, tell me again the title. Recapturing Joy in Medicine. Recapturing Joy in Medicine. When is that going to come out? So that hopefully will come out early 2019 is what I hope. Okay. Uh, so it's in the you know in those stages where it should be out by then. And do you have is it how is it published? Uh, right. So it's going to be published uh, published through Zulon. Uh, is the publisher, and I have a website which is uh, faithfulmd.wordpress.com. I like that. Faithfulmd.wordpress.com. Okay, we'll put that so, on the bottom of the screen. Right. And, um, and then you have any of your books there? Right, all my books are listed on my website. Yes. That's good. And um, they're, uh, they're on Amazon as well? Right, you can yeah, you can get them in all the main ways, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and, and, and Noble, sure, that's really yes, available yeah. too. And then I have another book which I actually self-published, and it's on Create Space uh, uh, platform, and that one is called The Three Whys of Faith, as in the letter Y. And so that's also a faith-based book that I use to. And what do the Y stand for? Uh, yes, yes, yield and yearn. So oh, we want to speak yes to wanting to know God more. We want to yield to God and His ways. And we want to yearn for more of that meaningful life. So you're doing family medicine now. Right. And you full-time? I am not full-time. So like you, I have become part-time uh, in the practice of medicine so that I can pursue the other things that I feel called to do, like writing books, like speaking, which I do quite a bit, and coaching, which I'm doing now for my physician colleagues, and running retreats, which I am. Hopefully my next step will be a retreat for physicians. Oh, that's a great idea. So you heard here, can contact through a website, and uh, the doctor will be available to coach you and your, your friends. It was wonderful having had you on the show. I'm so excited you're a physician too, so <laughs> that's, yeah, that's just amazing. And so much, thank you so much for having me. That's great. So uh, another one of our fantastic interviews. I hope you've enjoyed it. And stay tuned. Either we'll be back on this, this
this hour with another interview or next week. And thank you for inviting us into your homes. I'll meet the author.